from the man cave here. I'm gonna do a little um, tutorial, if you will. Um, you know, oftentimes those of us in this RC world, we and these, we make these videos, us YouTubers, and about RC planes. We oftentimes take for granted that when we make terms like the mains or throws or your gear or your rudder or your elevator or your spinner or we all these these terms that we use um sometimes we just take it for granted that you know what we're talking about well if you're new to the hobby you may have no idea what the heck we're talking about when we we refer to i figured what i would do is start a small series of videos short videos just going over the basics of what you find on an RC plane. What's what, what it does, and why it's called what it's called. So let's get started. Let me change my camera view, so we'll be right back. All right, we're back. And before you is the Ultramite or UMX Turbo Timber. Just a perfect size plane to put on the bench and to show you. Now she's got the battery on battery in her and she's live okay first off just go over the parts of an rc plane now that noise you're hearing that is um the stabilization systems of the plane reacting to my input okay but let's go over the basic parts of a plane from the very beginning this nose cone here is often referred to as a spinner okay and it usually is on a hub or the beginning or they're on a screw, but it's in the very front of a propeller. Now that's whether you have two propellers on a plane or a single propeller, that's always called the spinner. Even if you had an EDF unit or an RC jet or some, or which EDS stands for electrical conductive fan, it's still the spinner. Okay, obviously this is the prop. Oftentimes, either on the top of the airplane or towards this area here, you're going to have what we call the battery hatch. And in this case, there's your battery hatch, and there's your battery. Okay. Okay. The long bodied part of an airplane, this section here, is called the fuselage. Obviously, wings. Okay. Back here at the end of the airplane, Sometimes called your tail feathers, or uh, esp or I can't say there's a French word for it, um, but anyways, it's your it's your, your tail. Okay, the part that goes up and down, straight up and down, is called your vertical stabilizer or rudder. The part that goes this way, okay, flat, is your horizontal stabilizer or elevator. Okay, now. On your wing, this part of your wing, this part here, usually a, a part of the wing, it's kind of gonna be a flat panel that's gonna move up or down. That's called an aileron. This is your left wing, so it'd be your left aileron, you know? So naturally it would follow that on your right wing, this part right here would be your right aileron. Now, if we look at these funny looking things right here in the middle, these are called flaps, sometimes called air brakes, okay? But they're basically exactly as the name implies. They're air brakes. They slow you down so that you can make a better landing, okay? Now, to show you what these control surfaces are, and that's exactly what they are. They're control surfaces and what they do. If I have right aileron, right there okay see how that aileron kicks up so as it would kick air up so that means that wing would dip that way left aileron it kicks up means that wing is going to dip that way okay when you when i hit left aileron look at the right aileron it goes down just a little bit so if the control surface is down that part's going to lift up does that make sense now, on the tail feathers, I'm going to show you rudder. Rudder is steering, okay? When you're on the ground and you're taxiing along, see that tail wheel move? Well, as you would guess, if I give left rudder, she's going to turn this way on the ground. 
If I go right rudder, she's going to turn that way on the ground. Okay? Now, let me show you the on the elevator. As the name implies, elevator means elevate, right? If I go up elevator, plane's going to go up. If I go down elevator, plane's going to go down. So, what do you think would happen if I gave up elevator and right rudder? Plane, the wing would dip, and it would go up that way. If I go up elevator and left, ele uh, left aileron, plane would go up this way. If I was to go down elevator and right aileron, okay, plane is going to go down and dip off this way. So, as logic would follow, left aileron, down elevator, plane is going to go down this way. And that's just the basics of the movement of a plane. And then there's all kinds of combinations that you can put in with these control surfaces to make your plane do all kinds of wonderful, amazing things. All right, and that's basically it. Now on the underside, as far as your control surfaces, just to give you a look of how it looks under, underneath, here's your elevator going up and down. See your, your ailerons moving and your rudder moving. Now, talked about terminology. We say mains or gear. That always refers to the main landing gear or your mains. You'll hear me say you land on your mains and let your tail settle down. These are your main landing gear. Now, if these were to electronically fold up into the airplane, like on warbirds and jets, that would be called retracts or retractable gear. Okay, so that's just the basics of what you would find. And of course, these lights that you see are navigation lights. And, uh, you know, just really nice to have and really help you see at night or low light, see, uh, low light conditions. But anyways, that's, there you go. And uh, that's all there is to it. And uh, just real quick. Motor off. <laughs> Motor off. And that's just little, as I like to call him, little Tim complaining about not getting to fly. Well, there you go, folks. That's just the basics of what you find on the outside view of an airplane your wings your tail your fuselage your gear your prop these little things here are just on this particular plane this these are dummy exhausts they don't actually exist as far as they're just there for looks <laughs> and of course you got decals now in a, in a more in-depth series we'll actually go over more things like uh what actually makes the control surfaces move we're going to use terminology like clevis and control rods and servo horns and things like that. And we'll get into that in the next video. But that's just the basic overview of the parts of a plane that you, when people say, hey, what kind of spinner you got? Or, you know, what's your elevator look like? Or what's your ailerons look like? Well, now you can say, well, here's my aileron. Here's my rudder. Here's my elevator. Here's my flaps. Okay, now you know the your way around the airplane from the outside view. All right, folks, well, thank you so much. I hope you learned something. I'm hoping I'm helping you. And like I say, we oftentimes take it for granted. You may not know these things. All right, y'all, don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless.